Hello and uh, welcome back. Today we have uh, another frequency counter. This time it's from Maconi. It's the 2432A. Uh, and uh, I bought it as a part unit. The shipping uh, cost me more than the device itself. According to the seller, it does switch on, but it gives funny readings. So <laughs> I'm surprised if parts are missing or uh, it, well, it's not noisy. So at least it's uh, everything is stuck. Well, as you can see, it uh, can have some TLC. Um, the ignition key it's from uh, <laughs> it's from italy the ignition key is broken so well that is uh, true and uh, yeah it doesn't necessarily look uh, uh, very nice so uh, let's see what is still working and uh, wh why i needed another one it's just because it's a maconi and uh, the maconi has a special uh, place in my uh, heart and uh, it's because in my first proper job I worked with this uh, Maconi with the 2955 and, uh, ever, and that was like 30 years ago but ever since that time I was looking for one and uh, just this year I, I, I found one for a proper price from another uh, hand radio amateur and uh, he, look, he was looking for a good home well I think he got that here and now it's gonna be joined by uh, by this Maconi. So uh, let's start. Let's see if it uh, powers up. Yeah. Here we have the power. Hopefully it's switched on. Be yes, because the key is broken. Well, the gate is blinking, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it's blinking more slow. Okay, that so that ooh the timing still seems to work. It does have a lot of digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, very nice. Let's see what is not working because now I'm surprised. Let's maybe it's just a fail sticker. <laughs> Okay, we need to be a bit more uh, careful. I'm just gonna put the uh, 10 megahertz in it and see what it uh, does. Do I have fear? Yes, I can use this maybe. It's clearly not five because it's ten megahertz. Yeah, that one is on ten. Okay, maybe. So the first input does work, so that's a good thing, and it's not even that far off. Oof, look at this. Look at this. This is the 10 megahertz I put from my GPSDO and well, <laughs> it is not bad at all. So this is even very good and it's not even switched on for a long time. So maybe it even becomes more precise. But this is on the, yeah, I would call it the B input because this is the, and if I go, so it, the problem is in the uh, input. So the problem is in the B input. Also not. I am now feeding it from the Maconi on the yeah I, the A and the B channel kind of uh, because this is the lower and it is on the right. So I would say this is the A channel and this is the B channel. 
but I'm now working on the B channel. The B channel seems to work because uh, just now we put 10 megahertz and it works. Now I put uh, 300 megahertz and it works. So uh, let's put 500 megahertz. That seems to work. Well, it goes up to 560. So let's try that. 560. No. Well, that works. Let's put 600. Let's see if we c how far we can push this. 600 works. 700 doesn't. So 650. Let's see where it breaks. Mm, no. 625. Okay, well, 625, 630 maybe. Mm, no. 635. Okay. Six thirty-five is the maximum with accurate reading, so that is nice. It's an extra because it, here it says it goes only to five sixty. Um, so now we need to see what is wrong with the first input, and well, it it could be that it's uh, just uh, they overloaded it. Yeah, it's easy to put too much power in, and I know there is you have this little. Uh, I think it's from Philips. Those little Philips amplifiers that uh, that break and uh, they are easily available on the internet I've seen them for if, if that is the case now I'm just um, they are around ten dollars I think uh, but sometimes it is an easy fix just to put a little resistor around it because usually it's the resistor that blows not the, not the amplifier itself so uh, but, oh, if, first let's see let's open up and clean the thing The opening is uh, very easy, just screws in the back, then you just pull it out of the housing and uh, also this board, it drives the display, it was connected like this and you just take it out and uh, what we can see here, that is the, what it says here, oscillator 10 megahertz, well you see here the well known 6 pins now this area, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is that oscillator, but instead of, there is no brand, there is, there is some sort of cover around it, but it doesn't say what it is. And I actually would have expected someone like something like this, or the, the smaller version, half height of this one. But uh, yeah, they have some kind of blue thing without any markings. So uh, yeah. I don't know what it is, we try to find out and also to find out where we can adjust it if it needs to be although I saw the was here in the pack and it says adjust standard so if there probably is a pot there so yeah let's continue some more Oh, and the, the, the power switch here, it is really, that's why they say it was a key. Uh, it really looks like a key and it needs to turn. And here, it's a very tiny stick. And I can try to 3D print it. Although I need a lot of practice still with, uh, with that. But, and a lot of you will maybe not agree, I can also just put a normal switch as the Marconi here also just have a flip switch so in that sense it's it would not look weird to have just a normal switch so I'm I don't know yet but uh, we have at least uh, two options well the problem is in uh, this uh, input area so uh, here we could find some components that are blown or are just uh, broken. Well, this one it has uh, it 
this uh, explanation mark so that means it is uh, statically sensitive uh, but I also see that here we have some uh, electrolytics here electrolytic here electrolytic and we also have them uh, from uh, Tantal so those I never trust so I'm just gonna have a look at the board to see okay this is the same uh, input circuit right here it goes through here through here and here are those two input uh, amplifiers uh, this one doesn't look that good so I'm gonna replace that one as you see here here it's already has been done uh, so I will do the same there and here I have uh, these uh, tantals I never trust here here so I'm just gonna change these because if they are not broken now they will be broken in the near future so the, the, this part I'm gonna replace and then we're gonna have a, a further look Well, I'm still struggling with uh, with its first uh, port and uh, I'm just losing my signal after it goes here so this circuit is good it just doesn't go anywhere and because this one is statical sensitive I'm just going to replace the, that and uh, so I need to order that uh, part so I uh, put it all back together so uh, at least it's clean and the other channel is still working and the B channel should be working from uh, 50 up to uh, well up to 600 we found out but it works well below because I was able to feed in a 10 megahertz I will make a part 2 um, but it will not stop me from using it already and uh, have a look I think it looks nice and, and I ended up making the flip switch it's exactly the same switch as is, is, that is on my other Marconi so for me that is not a problem and the uh, only thing we need to do is to calibrate it and look at this even the back looks a lot uh, better so I think all in all we did a good job the calibrating you can do by uh, measure with two things you can put a 10 megahertz in the input and adjust until you see the 10 in the front or you measure, measure the one megahertz output uh, but you still adjust the same screw and you can also do both so we're going to do both i will measure the one megahertz in the on the hp which is connected to the gpsdo and i will also feed 10 megahertz into the front and so then we should spot here exactly one megahertz and we should see in the front 10 megahertz because this one runs on one that is that is a bit weird from the Maconi but that's maybe because it's that old the the big Maconi here the 2955 also has a one mega edge external input even though the the internal oscillator does on 10 megahertz this one is the same internal oscillator 10 megahertz but uh, the reference output and input are both on one megahertz so for that I had this uh, it's not only a distribution amplifier but it is also uh, a divider which also has two uh, one megahertz outputs which are very useful right now for both uh, my colonies so I will uh, switch on the frequency counter for uh, 20 minutes and then we will start uh, adjusting so as the machine is heating up the oscillator is uh, slowly going down here is 1 megahertz 0 0 0 0 0 and here you can see it slowly going up because it's the reference so they will heat each other in the end I am adjusting now it's a multi-turn uh, pot so I can use a normal screwdriver but it's kind of uh, precise work now because I'm here I don't think you can see but I'm here on the HP no it's too much and 
Okay. And now it should say also here. Well. And now it says here zero, here also. Ah, look at this. So it's measuring exactly 10 from the reference and the HP is measuring exactly one from the output which comes from his internal oscillator to go out. So I say this is good. I'm going to find a nice uh, spot for it to put on top with the other Makoni. And uh, yeah, if I look at the switch, I, I still think it's a good enough uh, solution. Uh, the switch looks exactly the same as my other Makoni, so uh, I'm, I'm sticking with that. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.